Kanye said that he created uh, every style of music for the past 20 years, including Drake and Young Thug. Oh, he was being all facts. Yeah, you, you I actually, that, when I heard it. it, I said, yeah, I, I can see that. Okay, so you, you see how great that, see that guy is. Now, of course, you know, Cuddy wants to chime in and said it was him or whatever else, but it's if yay. you really think about it, Kanye put Cuddy on. Yes, it's yay. It was, it was Kanye who co-signed. Cuddy could have gone and, and fucking moved back to Cleveland and worked at Walmart. Like, no, you know. Thomas has gotten to Vlad. Vlad's gotten the moment of clarity now. Yeah, Kanye yeah. is. What, what he said in I've that never, whole have post. Have I ever denied Kanye's no, artistry? No, 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 no. G Kanye, what he said in that post was all facts. Yeah, I agree. He says, I'm the GOAT. Yeah. I gave you all these guys. Even Future. I'm yeah. responsible for him too. Yeah. Everything. I agree. Y'all love Drake? That's me. I agree. Y'all love this guy? That's me. Y'all love this style? That's me. I gave you these albums. I gave you shoes. I gave you whatever. I am the GOAT. And we have to sit here and say, you arrogant motherfucking You're right. fuck. You know, and of course, You're Bo right. Boosie pushed back. He said, well, you didn't, you know, you didn't invent my style of music. And he came back and said, oh, okay. You know, uh, Wipe Me <laughs> Down came up with this year. So whatever that is. <laughs> Yo, no claim he, to he, it. He said the funniest <laughs> clap back. He says, I take no responsibility for whatever type of music <laughs> that is. That is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Boosie's my man, but you know, th that was a pretty funny comeback, man. And listen, and, and no, I don't think that Boosie has, was influenced by Kanye at, on any level. He's absolutely right. He's well, Kanye absolutely right. Kanye came before Boosie, though. So. Yes. No, 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 no. I mean, Boosie came before Kanye. Before so, Kanye, yeah. So how could you influence a nigga that's been around before you? Well, you, know I mean? you could influence him later on. You know, people- Oh, Boosie ain't changed? Yeah, Boosie's, you know, style could have evolved, but it pretty much is consistent to yeah. how it started. Boosie's sound is like some Louisiana, like, yeah. you know, very, like, classic sound. Like, he ain't changing for no yay. Yeah, yeah Boosie's exactly, right with that. Exactly. But, but when Kanye said that, I said, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to listen. The GOAT. I, I'm, I'm friends with John Monopoly, who's Kanye's manager. That's been my friend for, like, 20 years. No, no, not 20 years. I'm not going to say that. Uh, no, actually, about 20 years. Yeah, because I knew him back in my mixtape days. Yo, he was threatening to pull up on Casanata. I was like, oh, shit. Who? John Monopoly. No, he wasn't. Yo, he said, y'all come to your hood, Dolo. Yeah. That sounds like somebody trying to get some smoke. Nah. What? Nah. Man, nah. What? Nah. I, I, I'm me, about me to and pull John, up on me, you me, in me, your no, hood? No, 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 because, because, number one, Kai took a private conversation and put it on speakerphone on live. Which was, was it private? Which was filed. Yes. John called him up to talk to him about the Kanye comments. But Kai, Kai probably thought, you know I'm on live. Like, he, he streams No, all he the didn't time. say, you know I'm on live. He got his phone number. He just called him. And suddenly, it's being put on live without John's. In fact, that's illegal. John could probably press charges over this shit. Ooh. You see what I'm saying? And when, when they were talking, Kai misunderstood some of the stuff that John was saying, and he took it as an aggression, but it wasn't like that. I know John for 20 years. John is not an aggressive guy on any level. I'm not saying he's a pussy. I'm just saying that he's not aggressive. He's not violent. He's not anything. You know what I mean? He's not on that on that uh, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I will say, I will say, um, I think Kai was taken aback because he expected an uh, outright initial apology. Kanye West took what what he said about his clothes incorrect. He did not disrespect it. He's not working for Adidas. He's not a pawn. He said the clothes don't fit. You sent me a pants that is too big, okay? Yeah. What do you think I'm at? What do you think I'm DJ Khaled? Don't fit, my boy. <laughs> yeah. Send me another pair. Kanye DMs him, and you could clearly tell Kanye wanted him to have a good reaction. Probably was good for marketing. Not saying Kanye necessarily needs it, but you're going to now cuss this kid out. Hey, yo, don't you ever diss my clothes again. Blah, 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 blah. You're fucking this. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah. No, no, no. Come on, hey. That was no, all yeah, no, I, now, now, Kanye was being aggressive. And I get that, and John was coming in to try to clean things up. But if you listen to John's conversation, there was no aggression. Now nah, he had cut Kyle off real quick, and I think Kyle was like, nah, hold on now, hold on. Like, we're supposed to be, you know, I, I think also Kai's come from the place when he's interacting with people in hip hop, they're probably caring about what they have to say and not realizing that this guy, this is a guy who's streaming to 100,000 people every night. This is a guy with a huge following, which is impact and also his opinion matters. So you, you can't just call him and just talk to him like a little boy. Like, hey, check this out. Yo, Kanye didn't mean it like that. No, you probably, if, if you're calling to try to fix something, you probably gotta call and say, hey, what's up, I'm the manager. And you're probably gonna listen to Kai tell you like, hey, my feelings were, were hurt. 
blah, yeah. blah, blah. I didn't mean this, blah, blah, blah. You're going to have to listen to Kai a little bit. I think he felt the guy was like, hey, just shut up. Let me tell you what's going to happen. And, you know, I think that it, it was definitely miscommunication, though, because that's it wasn't all meant, it was. It wasn't it was meant to be that. Me.